My name is Francis Duro. I'm playing the role of Igwe Nene. Uh, this is indeed a beautiful project uh, that talks about leadership, sacrifice, and uh, uh, the consequences of a mother's love when pushed overboard. And the uh, intricacies of leadership, especially as an individual who brings or mistake or weakness on the part of the leader affects the entirety of the people, which means at every point in time, whenever we assume leadership roles, we must understand that the people who follow us, their lives depend on us as leaders, if you're a leader. And that is one thing this project has come out to show in this beautiful movie. And uh, it embraces a whole lot of uh, the best of hands in the industry too. You just tell this beautiful, love story from a mother's heart and how devastating it could be if the approach is wrong. We're here um, at a beach location in Apaki. The story has nothing to do with the beach. I know you guys will be wondering what we're doing at the beach location. But um, we found, we kind of found out that this location is perfect for what we need. We need to do um, some bush, some bush runs, shoot inside the bush. As you can see, there are very nice low bushes around here to simulate the environment of where we're coming from and then we're going to do some very nice special effects uh, on the beachfront. You guys watch out for the White Mountain. It's going to be an awesome, awesome experience. Okay. Why are we talking? Uh, but 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 well, Sound Mind uh, is a great guy. I've seen him work and I uh, like people who are meticulous about uh, uh, their business. I like directors who understand their tools and they know how to use them to their advantage. From actors to sound to pictures, environment and everything. And at the same time, you know, uh, management of human beings. And, that collage of responsibilities that you bring to bear that affects the project, good or bad. But here we have a, a director who is indeed directing too good, very well, in tandem with the times and the norms and every other thing. I think uh, uh, he's a smart, good, great guy. Well, Igwe Anene is a king. Uh, in fact, uh, he was born twin, but the mother, for obvious reasons, just simply because uh, she wanted her son to rule maneuvered the other twins and actually twisted the arm of fate and destiny by hoisting his own son upon the community. Now, the forces that be did not find this funny and at the right time, they started uh, plaguing the community with different kinds of sicknesses, anguish here, terror, sorrow, grief, gruesomeness greeted the, 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 the community just because of the wrong person ascending the throne and at the end of the day the same hand of fate found itself back and brought the rightful owner who happens to be Igwe Anene's twin sister and at the end of the day she later to the realm of leadership but having gone through so much problems, challenges, mistreatment, you know, being demonized, being accused wrongly for things that she did not do. At the end of the day, that same challenge and prob problem brought her through the guidance of the gods, the ancestors to her destiny, which was to rule the people, which she eventually did. But at the end of the day, evil must not go unpunished. And the Igwe had to like sacrifice himself for the plague in the community to end. So you see a king who understood that the throne was not really his. But at the end of the day, when he realized it, but at the end of the day, when he realized it, he had to pay the ultimate sacrifice, which means leadership comes with the sacrifice. And if you are a leader and you're not ready to pay the sacrifice, don't step into the boat. So that's, that's uh, Igor and Nene for you. Life itself faces challenges. They are not kind of challenges you say that as you know, stormy in nature. Just that sometimes, some things you know, schedule want to like you know be delayed. 
by virtue uh, that is so many reasons force measure man-made but these are the things that make production every production is like a complete sandwich it has bits bitter sweet and and sour taste your ability to put all that into a hole makes it worthwhile so for real challenges not 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 excruciating just the same kind of challenges you are back on when you have a mixed breed of people talents, philosophies, ideologies, people come into one common place. But beyond that, I think we're having fun. Yeah, like I said earlier, wonderful cast, wonderful crew, everybody's minding their business and doing their stuff, showing so much love and being there for each other. They are appropriate time. People do all flare up, misunderstandings, misgivings which will come. But at the end of the day, we all sit together to eat, enjoy. And that's production. The production spirit is very much in place here. No cost for alarm. Your expectation? Uh, my expectation is for this movie to actually achieve its desired effect, you know, mm, educationally, enlightenment wise, at uh, entertainment, then financially, because it takes so much to put a piece together. Uh, these days, it's not easy to come by cash to do production. So. I want, uh, I would appreciate, I'm expecting this production to meet its desired box office uh, uh, expectation. And one of those things I expect my fans to enjoy another wonderful piece coming from, from there. So that is me talking here. Uh, I, expect, uh, I expect my fans to have a fantastic, you know, time watching this movie when it comes. My final word, please keep patronizing Nollywood. This is our story being told by us for us. We may make mistakes, but life without mistakes is useless. But we have learned from the mistakes. We are not where we are supposed to be, but we are not where we used to be. And guess what? You guys are the ones who make us who we are. If you call me a legend, you call me a superstar, a celebrity, it takes only a legend to make a legend. So. Much respect to you, the legends, our legendary fans, we love you. And guess what? Let's keep our country together. Let's own our own Nigeria. We have only one country, Nigeria, and 247 and for Nigeria. And this is another Niger. They are repping another Niger product. Keep watching, Nollywood. And White Mountains, when you come out, make sure say you buy them. No rental, no hire. Buy, now do appropriate. God bless you all. I love you guys.